You see it. Yeah, you see it. It, it speaks for itself. to another video with the stitch life so in today's video i'm going to be bringing you guys my current beauty favorites so if you guys are interested in hearing about my favorite makeup items and my favorite body care items definitely stay tuned before we dive into today's video if you haven't already make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below subscribe down below as well and join the stitch gang become a stitch gal and also follow me on both my socials at the stitch life on both tiktok and on the grammy gram and with that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video so I want to start off with makeup there have been a few products that I've been loving my makeup routine hasn't really changed much but I have recently swapped some items out so let's go ahead and get into my current makeup favorites so the first favorite is this foundation that I actually don't even own I've just been wearing this sample for over a month and I'm obsessed like ever since I started using this sample I have not been able to put it down now my friend did give me this sample and he did fill up my sample container just a little bit more than he probably should have but shout out to him because I've been able to get my uses out of it okay and I'm talking about the Haws Lab foundation let me find this ex the exact name for the foundation I'll also put up a picture on the screen so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about but this foundation is bomb.com I'm going on Sephora's app right quick so the foundation is called the triclone skin tech medium coverage foundation with fermented arnacea I have to look at my sample bag from Sephora to tell you guys the exact shade, but I match myself and I match myself perfectly. I'm wearing the foundation today. Round of applause for the foundation, please. She looks the F good. This foundation is good. I was wearing it in Atlanta in like 80 degree weather and she did not budge. And I was outside from like morning to night. She did not budge. I brought this with me to Mexico City. She did not budge. Mexico can also get up to like 80, 85 degrees. She did not but okay i'm wearing it today sitting so this foundation has easily made it to my favorites i love it i have i i must <laughs> pick up my very own bottle of this haws lab foundation miss gaga shout out to you because you did that you definitely did it she looks good my second makeup fave is also a skincare fave i personally only use it whenever i'm wearing makeup though this one is coming from merit beauty this is the merit great skin instant glow serum this is what she looks like they sent this over to me in pr and it probably looks like i haven't used a lot of it but when i tell you i use this every time i do my makeup every time that i do my makeup and i've been using this since they sent it to me which is probably like i want to say like three or four months ago not gonna lie it's been a little while since this came out and since i received this in the mail so it says to use shake well massage two to three pumps into the skin before or after moisturizer in the morning or twice a day now i've been using this as my primer and i love this so much this formula does separate i don't know if you guys could see or can tell well you guys can tell from the bottle but i have shaken it a little bit usually you see like three different layers of solution in here but this is just so good i can't remember what's in it so let's pull it up but when i initially got this i thought that it would leave my skin just super oily and to be honest it doesn't do that at all it says instant glow serum it does provide you with the glow but it doesn't make you feel greasy or make you look greasy and i was concerned about that especially when applying my foundation because sometimes i do wear more of a dewy finish foundation and i didn't want to look too greasy as the day progressed but i've worn this with at least three different foundations and my skin looks amazing every single time it gives you that glow from within i don't know if you guys are seeing it on camera right now but listen off camera she looks the f good i love this i highly highly recommend you pick this up if you want that radiant look again you can wear this with or without makeup so let me pull it up really quickly on sephora so it is formulated with niacinamide and high and hyaluronic acid it's great for uneven skin texture this is coming from a clean brand merit is a clean at sephora brand so it says it's a lightweight by face serum that quickly hydrates and visibly plumps skin while helping to leave it calmer visibly brighter and more even looking over time thinking of it i need to start using this even when i'm not wearing makeup up. this is good this is really good i'm going to start actually using this even when i'm not wearing makeup because i typically only use it when i am wearing makeup as my primer and i love it so she definitely made it to my favorites my current favorites next up in the category of makeup favorites is this charlotte tilbury hollywood glow guide face architect highlighter in the shade gilded glow so mine is probably a little dusty she probably a little dusty this is what the front looks like real cute i got this through influencer 
and I've been loving it. I've been using it ever since I received it in the mail. I'm wearing it today. Subtle glow. Like I love the subtle glow. It's giving glow from within, but you could like you could see it. Like it's it's you could see that it's it's present on the cheeks. I love the finish of this love how it makes my skin look they do have a ton of different well i don't want to say a ton maybe like four different shades four or five different shades on sephora but i've been loving this highlighter i brought it with me to mexico city i brought it with me to atlanta i'm bringing it everywhere that's how you know i've really been liking something if i'm bringing it with me everywhere that i've been going so yeah she's really nice do you see? you see it yeah you see it. it it speaks for itself last and most certainly not least is this setting spray now y'all know i love my charlotte tilbury setting spray but i've been obsessed with this one right here you could tell how much i've loved uh, how much i've been loving it just off how much is left in the bottle this is the milk grip set refresh spray again that's how much we have left when i say the concoction for a good face includes this these three plus that haws lab foundation that i'm currently wearing like i use every single one of these today i use this to set my face i also use this as like a second step primer after i apply the merit great skin i do spray my face with this before like blending out my foundation i've been loving this spray look how it sprays y'all how clean is that mist Again, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. The proof is in the pudding. You could see that I've been using it. I've also been carrying this along with me during my travels because it's perfect. It's the perfect size for your carry-on. So again, concoction for a beat face, a face that's going to eat it up every time. The four that I just mentioned, 10 out of 10. Moving on to body care because the face got to look good, but the body got to look good. body got to feel good. The body got to be good, okay? So let's dive into some of my favorite body care items at the moment. So I'm just going to do this in no particular order because let's, let's just go ahead and do it. First things first, the Saltair Pink Beach Skin Care Deodorant. This one right here. I've been loving, loving, loving this. I've been using it ever since I picked it up. I want to say I picked this up maybe two months ago. I was in a Target and I realized it was in stock. So I was like, let me go ahead and buy it. So it says, our refillable, didn't even know this was refillable. Next generation deodorant formulated with BHA zinc, nourishing oils and algae to help neutralize odor. This product keeps you feeling fresh for a long lasting performance. So this is vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, talc free and phylate free. It also smells really, really, really good. You smell the coconut for sure in here, but it really does smell like you're on a beach. I love it. So yeah, this has been one of my current favorites for the body. I've been loving her and I recently got their body care oil. So I cannot wait to try that. And I actually did pick up one of their body washes as well. So I'll keep you guys updated, but this is the first South here product that I have tried and I've been really liking her. Next up is this Olay a Hyaluronic B3 Nourishing and Hydrating Body Lotion. This right here is so good. I love this. I love how lightweight this is. That's my thing. I really love how lightweight this is. And typically, I'm a girl that doesn't really like lighter lotions because I need the hydration. I'm very, very dry. My body is very, very dry. But I do mix this with an oil and still, I feel like lightweight found it, found it just lightweight body lotions usually don't do anything for me and this does so i was pleasantly surprised with how light this was but it's still effective like it's still effective enough for me to use on my body i've been loving this olay has really been killing the game lately with the body care stuff like body lotions body washes they've been killing it and i was never really like an olay, olay girl back in the day i was a dove girl and then i got a little bit more bougie started using like the expensive stuff on the skin which is totally fine but i've been going back to my target and i've been loving them and this smells really good. So this is formulated with B3, penetrates skin surface up to 10 layers deep. And B3 is the ultimate skin improvement ingredient. Hydrates your skin, allowing it to hold onto water so it can become its own moisturizer. Now that's probably why I really like this. Because when I tell y'all, the light moisturizers usually do nothing for me. But this is so light, yet so effective. I love this stuff. While we're on the topic of moisturizer, let me just go ahead and pull this one out. This is the EOS Shea Better. Shea Better. 24 hour moisture body lotion in the vanilla cashmere scent with seven nourishing oils and butters. It says it provides you with 24 hour moisture and soothing protection for dry skin. This is what she looks like. Now this is thick, but I'm not gonna lie. It's not that moisturizing for me. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's not that moisturizing for my skin, but I, am, but I am truly obsessed with the scent and I had to jump on the bandwagon and pick this up. Now. This was introduced to me before TikTok started going crazy about it. And I just overall love the scent. So I had to go ahead 
go ahead and pick it up but i do like to mix mine with a body oil so that's why i've been loving this one so much that's why i made it to my favorites because this mix with the body oil is great it does what it needs to do for me but on its own i'm not gonna lie it's not as moisturizing i feel like i could get away with using this in the summer and be totally fine for the winter months it's not that moisturizing just for me though i know it says 24 hours it doesn't give 24 hour moisturization for me thick doesn't also mean nourishing but i do love this nonetheless this is a perfect thing to put as your base when you want to layer your fragrances because this is already scented so i have to shout them out for that love this next up is this body oil this one is coming from k skin this is the al body oil with spf 30 now i use this way more than it looks like i've been using I honestly probably use this at least three times out of the week so the fact that we've only made it here is a good thing i'm surprised that i'm not like down here for how much i use this product but i love this for the simple fact that it is so lightweight but it's very effective it's very nourishing and this formula also has spf 30 so you're getting that protection now i know a lot of people use their spf on their face but you're neglecting your body you need to be wearing spf on the body as well so the fact that this oil already has spf in it works great for me because i personally like mixing my body oils with my body lotions so not only am i getting that extra moisture but i'm also getting my protection from the sun so k skin did their thing with this really like this this one is a nutrient packed body oil with uva and uvb protection and a skin quenching oil blend that nourishes nourishes skin for a healthy glow without feeling greasy 100 percent facts another favorite of mine is actually this veet sugar wax hair remover this one right here she's a little dirty that's how y'all could tell i've been using it i'm like halfway through this jar so i recently started doing my own full-on brazilian wax girl i know i know i know how y'all get it done how do you get it done i'm not gonna lie it's tough but this makes it so much easier it's not as painful with the sugar wax i've tried both the hard wax and the sugar wax sugar wax is my favorite i used to get sugar waxed in buffalo when i did live in buffalo but once i moved to the city everything is just a little bit more spread out and I just didn't devote the time to trying to find a sugar waxer, but I stumbled upon this at Walmart and I've been loving it. Love, 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 love it. And this is more natural in my opinion compared to the hard wax because this is derived from sugar. I'll leave links to my video up above and down below where I use this for the first time so you guys can see how effective it is, but I've been loving her. Another body care product that I've been loving is coming from Topicals. This is the Topicals High Roller Ingrown Tonic. This is what she looks like. So I started using this immediately after I did my first wax, right? And I've been trying to use this every single day. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do forget. But I've been trying to use this every single day and I have truly seen a difference, okay? This is formulated with salicylic acid, glycolic acid, niacinamide, and zinc PCA. And I found that when I was using, when I was going to get a wax, um, they were using the hard wax and I would find myself getting ingrown hairs still. I was using, I think, the PCA treatment at the time and I would still get the ingrowns. But since doing my at-home sugar wax, I've been using this one and I found that I still get the ingrowns but definitely not as much as I was getting them in the past when I was doing the hard wax. So I don't know if the difference is the fact that I've switched to sugar wax or that I've switched to this but personally it might be both of them combined. It might be the fact that I'm doing the sugar wax now and that I'm using this now. So all in all match made in heaven. So if you guys also get ingrown hairs definitely go ahead and pick this up. I've seen people put it on their beard so it can be used for both men and women. So definitely check this out. You can use it underneath your arms or in the bikini area highly highly recommend this one right here from topicals and topicals is black owned i don't know if i mentioned that topicals is black owned and so is k skin period so i have two more body care favorites to share with you guys the next one is coming from siate london this is the dewy stick body this is a body oil gloss this is what it looks like y'all could probably barely see the packaging i got this in pr this also smells like coconut <laughs> I have a lot of coconut scented things here and you know what's funny i like coconut scented things but i don't like coconuts pina coladas and stuff like that the most coconut you'll see me having is coconut water which is kind of crazy because like how do you like coconut water but you don't like pina coladas i don't know they're just two different things but this smells really good and all you do is apply it 
into your body like that like so like that you see the glow like this in the summertime is gonna be killer but I've been applying this prior to spraying any of my perfumes on and when I say it works great your perfume adheres to your skin better and I feel like it makes your scent last a lot longer it lasts a lot longer throughout the day so I've been loving this Ciate London body gloss and listen look at the glow you see the glow the glow is there so shout outs to CIT London again they did send this over to me so I will try to find links in addition to everything else if possible the items mentioned so definitely check the description box down below and last but certainly not least fragrance now this <laughs> I can't believe I'm halfway finished with this moment of silence I can't, well let's not do a moment of silence yet because she's not finished but I'm halfway finished with this this has been like my staple fragrance over the last few months chances are i'm going to be mixing a fragrance and if i'm mixing something with something else i'm going to include this fragrance this is going to be one of the fragrances that i'm going to be spraying for the day this one is coming from kiali this is the kiali musk 12. now this is probably my third most recent kiali fragrance i have a ton of other kiali fragrances up do i have the whole collection i think i'm too short from finishing my collection but just the fact that this is my third most recent Kiali fragrance and I'm almost finished with this sample size I know it's a sample size but like I don't understand how I've gotten here already <laughs> I just got this I feel like I just got this it just goes to show that I need to go ahead and pick up the full size this Kiali musk is so good it is so good it might be I don't want to I don't want to say it's my second favorite yet I feel like I need to rank my Kiali fragrances in a video for you guys it's coming soon I promise I just need to finish my collection first and then I got y'all but this is just good and it only took them 12 mixes to know that this was perfect Mona did that this smells so good it's the perfect second skin fragrance you can literally put this on and like you'll smell like the baddest me ever ever and it's so simple it's not complex but it's just so good i can't explain it but the best way to explain it is to pull up the notes so let me go ahead and do so on the sephora app the key notes include jasmine musk and sandalwood it says musk 12 begins with magnificent notes of lotus flower freesia and sheer jasmine it shines a light on one of the world's most most mysterious ingredients with exquisite musk accords a voluptuous blend of vanilla and creamy sandalwood gives the distinguished composition and an enchanting and tempered soul whoever wrote that shout out to them <laughs> not gonna lie because they sold the hell out of that for me i mean i have it here and it's everything and more i'm just gonna say it, it's everything and more i feel like every girl needs kiali musk 12 it's my favorite i had to include it in today's video and i'm i might just go ahead and pick up the full size today moral of the story is make sure you pick up kiali's musk 12 it's absolutely to die for so those are all of my current favorites my current beauty favorites i hope you guys truly enjoyed this video including all of the items that i've been loving let me know if you guys have been loving some of the items that i shared in today's video listen great minds think alike so let me know if you guys have been loving some of the items that i featured in today's video if you enjoyed this video if you thoroughly enjoyed this video make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below subscribe down below as well if you've made it to the end of this video and <laughs> you haven't subscribed since i feel some type of way my heart is broken my heart is breaking make sure you guys subscribe down below become a stitch gal become a part of the stitch gang and if you haven't already follow both of my socials at the stitch life on instagram and on tiktok and until the next video love you guys thank you guys again so so much for watching i'll see you guys all later bye guys the hood is hooding the hood is hooding story of my life something's going on outside story of my life something's going on outside